Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. Today is Tuesday, January 17th, 18th, 2022. And I wanted to pull a card today. I was doing some pulling for myself and um, we're coming off of the full moon in Cancer. And people are just, you know, going through their feelings and their emotions or maybe something came up that you didn't realize was going on. And you probably need a little guidance. And why not? Let's pull a card. So let's see what comes up today. And it says, it's the Archangel Michael. Working too hard or too many hours, the need for balance in life, let others help you and health problems due to stress. Okay. So how many people can relate to this card? The Archangel Michael is coming in and he is saying, let me help you help yourself. The energy is intense. We're in the year 2022. We've gone through this pandemic for two years. It is a lot. A lot of people are projecting their own stuff onto other people. That's where the anger and the frustration and all the feelings that are going around are surfacing from. A lot of people are wounded and haven't dealt with their wounds. So this is how the wounds are being coming up and de they're dealing with them, but they're not really. They think they are, but they're not. So we have a lot going on and that's the world. And then you have your own personal stuff going on. And even if it's your daily responsibilities, you know, waking up and going to the gym and taking care of the kids, getting the kids off to school or getting yourself to your job and then going through the day of those responsibilities and then coming home and taking care of more responsibilities, you're working too hard. When is your downtime? When is your time to breathe? When do you take time to breathe? Or do you get up and go? Yesterday, I woke up and, no, Sunday, I'm sorry. Sunday, I woke up, showered, and started my day and didn't even realize that I did not sit down until I think it was 8 o'clock at night. And it didn't even dawn on me until I sat down. And I didn't think I was doing a lot until I sat down and went through the day of everything that I did. Do you do that? Do you find yourself getting in this cycle and not stopping and not slowing down and not giving yourself the time to breathe? You're going to burn out. And this card is the card of fire. And fire burns. And what happens after the fire fizzles out and burns, you're done. You're like down for the count. So the bottom of this card says health problems due to stress. It's important for you to take care of yourself. And if you're listening to this message right now, this is for you. This is for me. This is for anyone that is doing too much. And this card is for anyone that thinks they're not doing enough. You are. That's where we get caught up in this cycle. If you think you're not doing enough, you must be doing, you're not doing enough, right? You must be doing too much. Even when you're doing too much, you like, well, I had to rethink what I just said because it didn't sound right the first time I said it. Are you giving yourself the time to take care of yourself? Now, today I'm going to take care of myself and I'm finding that I'm already like trying to talk myself out of it. Do you find yourself doing that? Like there's so many other things I could be doing, but I'm not. I'm forcing myself not to do those things. So this is coming up today, the day after the full moon in Cancer, to remind each and every one of us, even though there is so much going on in the world and in your particular situation, you're dealing with the energy, the stressful, the heavy, the evil, whatever you're calling it, energy of what has been going on for the last two years. You still need to remember not to bring it home, not to not to keep it attached to you, but instead to detach at some level so that you can remember to take care of yourself and do the things that bring you happiness or joy. I stopped myself from saying the word joy because in one time when I said that to a client, she really got angry because that brought up stuff that reminded her that she's not finding joy and it triggered her. 
So let's use the word happy. When I say meditate, let's not use that anymore. Yep, let's use the word quiet, just quieting the mind, just sitting or laying quietly. Maybe using a mantra, just I am enough. I am enough just the way I am. Can you say that to yourself? But this card is really telling us, all of us, that we need to balance out work and play. I think that if you're listening to this, you're doing far too much work and you're not doing enough play. You're doing far too much work and you're not doing enough caring of yourself. You're doing far too much work and you're not setting up the boundaries that you need to set up to nurture yourself. It's time because that's how you bring balance into your life. That's how you bring less stress into your life. And it's very important to allow others to help you. Open up your arms. Are you allowing yourself to receive help, support, guidance, not sucking the energy out of other people, but are you allowing others to help you um, even if that means it's Archangel Michael and the Archangels. It's Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. We're in the middle of the month of the first month of this year. This year is going to get better. This year is a six year and this year is really about family, children, home life, relationships, taking care, good care of your relationship with yourself first and foremost before you take on any other relationship and it's also about you figuring out where your responsibility lies what responsibilities have you been taking on that are not yours and what responsibilities have you taken on since you're little from society for or from a family ancestral lineage that you should have never taken on you didn't know any better but it's not serving you. It could even be a lack mentality. It could be a financial or money mindset. Whatever it is, it's time to take a look at it. This is the year. It's a six year. If you haven't yet and you're interested, reach out to schedule your soul healing forecast and find out month by month what is coming up for you for the year and find out which archangel you can work with that can help you and can support you because each one of them have a specialty. So reach out, I'd be happy to do it with you. And so would the archangels. Wishing you a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.